Welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. Mike's cracking the whip. We got a late start. The fuel can in the trailer tipped over. Uh, the list goes on and on. So we got to get moving. So we're down here in West Virginia. Uh, we haven't been up to the cabin yet, but so far everything looks uh, pretty good. They had some really bad storms down here the other day. Things are gonna be a little wet getting started and probably a little bit muddy, but I've got some stone coming in about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, we're gonna dump it right in front of the cabin and it's gonna go where the shower house is and around the cabin. So. He's not going to be waiting for us, but I'll show you what we have going on here. Yeah, I don't know how much rain they got here, but uh, I think it was quite a bit. There'll be some water laying up here, I'm sure. Ton of comments about the swing. Number one, they said it should be on springs. It is. Uh -huh. And the other thing was it should be turned this way. The porch uh -huh. isn't big enough. It would hit the uh, yeah. hit the wall. We have a wild crew. They'd be, they'd be swinging wild. Be into that window right there. All right, I'm just getting started here. It's uh, kind of looking like rain, oh, isn't it? The sun's just uh, gone. <laughs> Hopefully it does not rain. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is get me a nice path. I have kind of an opening back in there. I'll get the stumps back there about 100 feet mm -hmm. and then uh, some of the bigger stuff yeah. and just work some of that mud back there because this is gonna get replaced right. with some nice rock in here to set the shower house on. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it should it shouldn't be too bad. This 75 though works pretty good. Yeah, but I noticed and I mentioned that you if the narration I made makes the video that when you were pushing 
the engine uh, i said it's like plugging something big into your house and you're like all your electric goes uh. yeah it doesn't have as much uh <laughs> snot as the 97 yeah, right. you know what i mean yeah but what are you gonna do you want to take a ride on the side i think I on will. a four-wheeler if it's yeah because i'm gonna be a while okay i'll just set up a time lapse here we'll get this stuff knocked out okay and i'll uh I'll give you directions though. I yeah, I'm gonna need them. I drove for about 15 minutes. This is um, gonna give you an update. Let me take this off. But this is absolutely beautiful out here. There were some fields that I just passed. I've been driving for 15 minutes and um, I plan on driving for a good while before I turn around and head back. The sun is out now. Before I left, it was kind of questionable, but you can see the sun behind me hitting into the trees. It's really pretty, very quiet. I just met a few cars and they stopped and gave me a wave. I think I probably would fit in as just a person in the neighborhood, but I had a helmet on and I noticed the other side-by-side -side, or the quads, four-wheelers, Polarises that I've seen, their drivers sometimes don't have a helmet on. So, but I like to be safe. I'm not f always familiar with where I'm driving. So I think it's always best to have a helmet. All right. I'm going to get back on, get, put my helmet on, and then get on the road. So how's the ride, Melissa? It was nice. She saw a, a really nice buck. You got a... Yeah, it was a nice buck for us. Real nice, actually, for anywhere. And actually, that's probably hard to see. Yeah. It's a nice one, though. I could show you the video. I got a... Uh, I got a bunch of stuff done. I got to right. So, you know, watch him turn his head. That is a dandy. 
He was laying by the road and he hopped up. If he didn't hop up, I wouldn't have been like, whoa. So you're going for about an hour. Yeah. And uh, I got a bunch done, a bunch so far. It's uh, drying up nice. I'm going to stick with it. The quarry just called. Okay. They're on their way with a load of stone. We'll dump it somewhere right in here. And I'll just keep working. But I'd say another hour, hour and a half, I'll be ready for the stone. Good. Good job. We just had a great idea. I don't have time to explain it right now because the truck's going to be here in about 10 or 15 minutes.
So the giant pile of debris is gone. I mean, it didn't disappear. It's just not here anymore. It's over there in the woods, and that's a good place for it. It's out of the way. It uh, won't bother me a bit. Eventually, that will make a really nice pile of topsoil right there uh, once all that stuff breaks down. But I have had so many people in the comments ask me why I didn't chip that up. Well, there's several reasons, but that pile, uh, it consists of more roots, stumps, and dirt than it did actually stuff you could chip up. And that would be a nightmare. It takes forever to chip material. I'm just not a big fan of it. I mean, if you had a giant self-feeding chipper like they do on big clearing jobs, that would be one thing. But I don't understand the attraction to chipping. I don't. When you can either burn or just push it out of the way, uh, I don't like it at all. Just takes too long. So next up, I need to cut just a little bit out of here and pack some stone in here then for where the shower house is going to go. And then earlier, I was kind of rushing around because that truck was coming. Uh, Melissa and I had talked. I skinned off most of the topsoil through here. We're going to leave that tree right there. We like that tree. But we'll bring a little drive in like this that you can loop right around here. So I'm going to have two circle drives. I've got a big one down there. And we're going to have a little one right here. Plus, that'll make it much easier when they bring the shower house in here to set on the pad. But yeah, that'll give us some more parking around here. And we're actually going to have like a like a little yard right here, you know? Maybe for some cornhole or something. I could smooth all this up. Hope to see. So Melissa just got back from town. She brought us personal pan pizzas and salads. Yeah, pretty good. Hit the spot. But uh, tell them what we saw on the way in this morning. Coming in. Uh, we saw something on the road that at my first glance, I'm like, it's a, uh, what do you, those blackbirds that like get Like on, a raven or something. Yeah, or they crow. just get down on like roadkill. And then it walked away from him. We're like, what? And he stops the truck and I just had it handed him my phone real quick and he did a video. I think. It's a it's fisher. A fisher? Okay. Yeah. Because it looks, the, the coat on it is beautiful. Like maybe a mink, but I guess the minks and the fishers look alike. Yeah, and minks are smaller. From my it under. had a real small rounded head, you know, kind of like an, a baby otter. <laughs> yeah. And his tail kind of was unique, so. And then we saw all kind of stuff today. You saw that buck. We oh, talked yeah. about that. And then I was on the uh, skid loader, ripping and tearing. And there was a little spike walked within 20 feet of me. <laughs> and then a doe about a half hour ago. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of are okay with us being here. And I'm okay with them being here, you know. Yeah. Kind of walk up and they're like, hey, do you have the time? Mutual understanding. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. But things are drying up nicely. I'm going to uh, get back to work here. What do you think? Yeah, and the guy driving and uh, delivering the stone was very good. Yeah. I think you have to be all eyes and ears in that situation, you know. He's backing up here and I'm like looking at the top of his truck and the branches. And then he got out and checked things out. Just got to be careful. Oh, yeah. I mean, like as he's tilting, you know, dumping it, I'm like... Yeah, they they haul more here than they do at home. That's 26 tons of stone. And right in the center of that pile, on that side a little bit, there was a uh, a stump there. I told him about it. I said, just watch back in there because you hit one of those stump holes, those things will yeah. turn right over. You know, and what I love about our relationship, most men and women, most women are always wanting rock, you know, a rock of some sort. And Mike Morgan's the one that's all about the rock.
All right, I got my uh, laser here. We're right at uh, three feet eight. This is going to be the elevation of the concrete pad that's out here. But we want about four and a half inches of concrete. And we want about two inches of stone, actually smaller stone than what I have. So let's say we go four inches for concrete. That'll be one, two, three, four. That puts us right at four feet. And then we want, uh, say, an inch and a half of 2B limestone. That puts us to four, one and a half. And then let's say we want just... I don't know, three inches of that rock, because the rock's probably two inches. So that would be one, two, three. That's where we want to be. Four, four and a half. Then we put a couple inches of that on top. Four, four and a half. So I think I'm probably going to have to take a little bit more out of here. We'll see. See where we're at. Wow, that's uh... That's not too shabby right there. It's about an inch low right there. This is pretty close to grade right here. Real close. Not uh, this way, it's going to take a little bit more. It's dropping off. Yeah, about two and a half inches. We can make that up with rock. We got lots. And this here, this is outside the shower house anyway. So let's pick a good spot here. I don't have any paint with me. That's really close. Right here is real close. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna clean this up in here and then uh, we'll start bringing some rock over, put a few inches of rock in here, track it in real good. And uh, next time we come down, when we form it up, I'll bring like my plate compactor. Alright, so uh, it looks pretty good. I'm not going to get too carried away though because we need to dig a few lines in here for the okay. plumbing. Uh, and yeah. they will be at this end of right. the shower house yeah. out here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're not going to tear all this up. But this is going to need some 2B limestone in here. 2B, 2B not. 2B or not to be. Yeah. And the sewer line will go out that way and probably a conduit for the water line which we're just going to use a cistern tank okay. but we'll keep all that in one corner towards the back of the shower house 
And there's been a lot of discussion on this uh, shower house, a lot of comments, people saying we should just put it on the back, put it on the other side. Uh, it has to go on this side. Uh, one of the reasons is we want it on this side, but there's going to be a dormer on it, similar to that dormer, but obviously smaller. It'll be facing out this way, right. and I think it's going to look fantastic putting it right here on this side. Yeah, I do too. I think it'll be I've good. I've seen it already, so yeah, I think it looks great. And uh, yeah, I think the only thing I'm trying to imagine is how's it sit, how's it sit right here. Yeah, so that door, you know how the door's offset? Right. It's going to be right where that window is. Okay. So it's only 10 by 12, you know what I mean? Right. And there'll be a little right. four foot hallway coming yeah. out. And then, and then the shower house. Got it. So all you out there are just going to have to trust us on this one. I'm telling you, it's going to look good when it's done. Wow. And it's going to be functional, which is probably more important. Asking the internet to trust us. I'll be uh, talking to Plumber Jim in the next couple of days about, uh, about these drains and the trap and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we talked about it before. He had some really good ideas on how to winterize everything and and for this to work for a cabin. Actually, I don't remember everything he told me, so <laughs> someday I uh, will have Plumber Jim on video kind of explaining all that. Great idea. Uh, Great idea. One other thing I wanted to mention, uh, Boonville, New York. Uh, Melissa and I will be at the Woodsman's Field Days again. We were there last year. If you'd like to come out and say hi, we'll be there on the 18th right. and 19th of this month. And the 18th, we'll be there from 10 to 2 at the Woodmiser booth on Friday. And on Saturday, 10 to 2 at the steel booth. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add, Melissa? No, we look forward to seeing you there. You guys are great at coming out to these events. And, it's really uh, nice meeting you. You see what we do all the time, and it's nice to uh, be able to talk with some of you. He's right. But I think that's about it for today's video. I appreciate you all being here, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks.